Hi, my name is Simon McGovern. Uh, I'm going to be teaching today a uh, little in tutorial on um, ways to finish the armbar when a guy is defending it. Okay, it's just a little concept that I use, a way for my guys to remember uh, different things that they need to be doing. Okay, uh, I'm here on behalf of the Warrior Collective. Uh, check out their YouTube channel, some great things going on there. Um, you can check out the videos. My assistant today is Ben. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be using him to, to demo this stuff up. Okay, so the guy is on his back. Okay, I'm not I'm not overly looking at, at how I've ended up here because there's there's so many ways that, that you can check out and, and get from your coach about how to end up here. But one common thing that I see a lot of people struggling with is once they get here is how to release the arm, and how to finish the arm. Okay, so let's say that we've ended up here. We're attacking the armbar. And this guy is defending it, okay? It's a common thing, this guy's defending it. Now, when I'm here, okay, it's okay to cross my legs at this point, okay? This is okay a little bit here. Depends what I'm trying to do, okay? But a lot of the times, you don't want your feet crossed, but right now, I'm okay here, just to secure this position. I don't want to have my other leg over the top, because this relieves pressure on his head, okay? So if I am gonna put this over, it would be that one that would be over, okay? Now, a little concept that I use, it's called the five Ps. Push, pull, pin, pain, position, okay? And this gives me the idea that I need to start to free this arm. So the first one, push, okay? If this guy's got his arm in here, or he might be holding this way, okay? Anything he can, to sort of to defend this arm and stop me from, from getting it back through the armbar, okay? So the first one, I'm gonna push. So if I'm in this position, I can either push the arm, the opposite arm away, in order to free it. Another way is I can use my foot to push. I never use this foot to push. It's always this one, okay? This gives me the push in order for me to finish it. Then, when I finish, my knees, my feet on cross, my knees are together, okay? So that's the push. So I'm pushing it, push it, anything I can do. The next way is a pull. So the pull, if I can snatch it back, okay, then I'll snatch it back and give it a good pull. But sometimes you do this and it's not quite going, okay? So another way that you can do is I can try and connect to this arm and I can use this to pull. Sometimes the guy's holding like this, I can free this, this, and I'm using a pulling movement to pull back. Okay, nice and simple. Push, pull, pin. So now with a pin, if this arm is here, he might be holding this like this, I can basically pin his opposite arm to create a locking movement, which means it's easier then for me to free this. Okay, it doesn't matter what concept I'm using to free the arm, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to pin it, okay, particularly if he's holding like this, there, and I pin, and then it's easy for me to free that to pull it back, okay. Next way, push, pull, pin, pain. We give the guy pain. From a jiu-jitsu point of view, I might go for an attack on the arm where I think about pulling back, pressing down, and using maybe a crushing movement to create the submission, okay? I might be in this position, grab his wrist, okay, here, where I might grab the wrist, wrist lock him, in order to free it. So I'm causing pain in order to free the arm. From an MMA point of view, I can cause trauma with the pain by hitting him. See how he wants to defend that position which then gives me the arm free, okay? So that's push, pull, pin, pain. The last way is position. If this really won't go, no matter what I do, I really can't free it, okay? And I think that the guy is getting to that point where something's coming free, or, you know, he, he's just a stubborn guy that I just really can't get it, I can change position. I can either change position to maintain my top position, or I can change position to attack the arm in a different way. So I change, so I might pull his other arm in, base my hand, 
and I adjust. So I circle for the S mount in the opposite way, is one example. My leg can come over, boom, and now I've got the attack. I might just change position to maintain my mount if I want to stay here. And from there I can renew the attack or attack with something different, okay? So to recap, five Ps, push, pull, pin, pain, position, okay? So I can push it, I can pull it, okay? If he's holding it in a different way, okay? I can pull it, I can push it free, okay? I can pull it this way, okay? Pin, if he's holding, I can pin the arm down, which frees it, makes this weak, okay? Pain, cause trauma or pain to create some kind of lock, whether it's this, whether it's a wrist lock, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's pain, trauma, here, okay? And then position. I feel that it's not happening, it's nothing's happening, boom, I might just get back to my top position and then set up something different. Okay guys, nice simple concept, thanks for watching. Okay, um, you can check out my website, uh, mcgovernacademy.com, for class times and, and upcoming things. Okay, uh, I've been here on behalf of the Warrior Collective. It's a great YouTube channel. Check them out. Lots of good things happening. Lots of other tutorials from great instructors. Okay, uh, thanks Ben for helping me. I'll see you next time.